Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's have a look at how we multiply fractions. So here are a couple of fractions, two-fifths and one-third. We're going to multiply them together. Let's have a look and try and understand what's happening when we multiply fractions. So one-third, look, let's look at the second fraction there, the one-third. What I've done here is I've taken a square and I've shaded one-third of that square in blue. Now, what you need to remember uh, when we're multiplying fractions is that the time sign actually really means the word of. So two-fifths times one-third means exactly the same thing as two-fifths of one-third. Two-fifths of one-third. So if we take our one-third that you can see there on the in the square and we split that up into fifths, we'll then want two-fifths of that one-third. So that's exactly what I've done here. I've taken that one-third that we started with and I split it into five vertical columns. I've split that into fifths. That third has now been split into fifths. And I've drawn a red uh, rectangle around two of those fifths in the one-third, or two of the fifths of the one-third. So it's actually the two fifths of the one-third that we're after, which if you look at that diagram now, you can see that square's actually now been split up into 15 equal uh, pieces, so they're actually now fifteenths. So the proportion of the square that we're after is two fifteenths. So if you look at the bottom uh, row of calculations here you'll see that um, two-fifths times one-third is equal to two fifteenths or two-fifths of one-third is equal to two fifteenths and you'll see in the middle of those workings uh, that what I've done is I've actually taken the numerators and multiplied them together. So I've taken the two of the two-fifths, the one of the one-third, times them together, and that gives us the numerator of the answer, two. Two times one is two. The denominators I've then multiplied uh, to give me the denominator of the answer. So the five um, from the two-fifths and the three from the one-third. I've multiplied them together. Five times three is fifteen. So with multiplying fractions, it's actually really, really simple. Um, if you want a short, quick method of how to do it, you just multiply the numerators together. That gives you the numerator of the answer. Multiply the denominators together. That gives you the denominator of the answer. But rather than just learning that simple method, um, I really do want you to understand that times means the word of, and hopefully that diagram helped you understand uh, where, where that two fifteenths came from. Okay, so one quick example just to finish off. We'll do six sevenths times by three fifths, or six sevenths of three fifths. Remember what I said? You literally just have to times the numerators together, and times the denominators together, as you can see here. So 6 times 3 and 7 times 5. If we do that, we get 18 35ths as our answer. OK, so multiplying fractions, just to recap, uh, nice and simple, you literally just times together the numerators, and that's the numerator of the answer. Then you just multiply the denominators together. And that's the denominator of the answer. That was multiplying fractions. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.